As a child, I often wondered why strawberry jam was so terrible. Why the fruit had been transformed into little brownish rubbery pellets and trapped in a watery jelly which seemed to me to have nothing to do with the red, tasty, soft summer fruit allegedly preserved in the jam. As well as strawberries, we're using a vanilla pod in this recipe, but it's, it's, it's purely optional. Use a half a vanilla pod if you're worried, or you can just leave it out. But the lemons. We always use lemons when we have a low pectin fruit like strawberries. But it's not only about the pectin. The juice helps to soften the fruit, and also, if you're canning or doing something else, it slows down the growth of bacteria. We now have three pounds of fresh fruit, and we've prepared three pounds previously, macerating it like this, but without a vanilla pod, then cooking it for 10 minutes. So, after this is macerated, it will be added to the prepared pulp. We used six pounds of sugar, one pound per pound of fruit, and warmed it to help it dissolve more easily later. You're now ready to add the fruit to the pulp, which is a full-bodied juice that will give a tasty textured jelly rather than a sticky, bland, pink, consomme-like goo. When you add the sugar to the fruit, it is important to stir it in fully. You don't want it lumpy or sticking to the bottom of the pot. While waiting for the jam to reach a rolling boil, you have time to prepare the jars and put them in the oven to warm. Because there was too much liquid in the pot, I transferred half of it to a second saucepan and made two lots of jam at the same time. After about well, between 20 and 40 minutes, it depends on the amount of liquid you have, the level has dropped, a jelly begins to form around the foam and on the spoon holder. So you can see it there on the spoon. It starts to thicken slightly and you can test it then on a, on a saucer. You can see there it's ready. Taking out your jars, make sure they're warm because you don't want them to crack when you add the very, very hot jam. Be careful too of fruit because the fruit pieces will splash when you pour them into the jam. Gloves are essential when you're tightening the lids if you don't want to burn your hands. Then it's ready, ready to be tasted. Bon appetit.